nice to be back. Walk with me. I had to take a couple weeks off because life has been crazy. One of my main goals with Catherine College is to capture what it is like to be a regular 21 year old kid attempting to navigate the world around her. For me, that world is Stanford. And look, I know where everything is now. Very little will surprise me on this weirdly hyper perfected paradise of a campus. Probably it's kind of old, like realistically because we've been there for four years. I would say that that's probably it. Like, I mean, at some point, how much tequila can you handle? How would you say you feel burnt out of Stanford? Um, yeah, a little bit. But I think that's maybe my own fault. Maybe I, can, I think I can do something. Really? Mix it up. I don't know. You can always do something in a different way. I feel like maybe I just found a way that I thought was fun for a while and then now I need to rebrand, rebrand Fun Cali. <laughs> like, let's go to a jump park. A what? Like a jump park, like a trampoline park. Oh, hell yeah. Like, that sounds so fun. <laughs> like, turned into children again. It's like a cycle. If you're a baby, then you're like a, a party animal. Baby. Enjoy the snacks. See you, man. See you later. Truth be told, it's a huge freaking transition graduating. And it's impossible to do without thinking about who you are and who you want to be. In these past few months, I've been thinking a lot about how I spend my time and who I spend my time with. What are you working on? Um, I just did readings for my language and society class, and this week it's on how women are the change, the drivers of language change. Oh. Yeah, women historically have had more to gain by speaking different ways than men do. Huh. This is a time in our lives where like, we're being forced to think about who we are and what we wanna, who we wanna be because we're forced to pick what we wanna do. And so far I think a lot of people haven't had ever to think about that because it's just been clear. They go to high school, they go to college, and then what? Do you think that relationships change over time? Relationships, if they didn't change over time, someone's lying. Because as people, we change over time, and so that has to affect how we interact with other people, and sometimes the relationships that change over time, it's a growth together, and sometimes it's an intersection that you both go opposite ways from, and that's okay. That's how it should be, or else you're not being real. I don't know much, but I definitely know that I want to be around people who love me. And I definitely know that I want to be happy these last few months. So that's what I'm going to do. And I hope you join me in that. No. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> Put it down. Come on, let's go. Yeah. It's your big debut. Hello, pretty best in team girls. <laughs> Stay 
anywhere for 40 years and things will start to feel old. Or at least you'll feel like you've got more than just the hang of it. Don't mind me, I'm just drying my laundry. I'm determined to make the most of my situation and in order to do that, I'm going to take steps to adapt better to my environment. I'm going to surround myself with people who care about me. I'm going to laugh. Maybe I'll be a little bit of a kid again. I'm also going to go back to posting here on Catholic College as my schedule permits. So, possibly not on Wednesdays. Probably not every week. And that'll be my way of adapting. Growing together, growing apart. Can't think of anything more representative of the life of a 21-year-old kid than that. I don't have this all figured out. Not even close. But maybe I can figure that out tomorrow. As for tonight, go to bed. Good night.